Elliot Grinch. Hello everyone, Game Boy AG here back with another LSPD4 GTA 5 quick tutorial, tidbit, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, as I, I, I try to share whatever information I get, I try to share with you guys, you know, because nothing is a, a, should be a secret, you know, nothing like that. It's a game, you know. So anyway, so we're going to talk about uh, vehicle meta, um, just some things that I, I utilize with vehicle meta, just just, you know, to give an explanation as best as possible for those who are just getting into the modding thing, uh, especially with GTA 5. So anyway, talking about vehicle meta, vehicle meta comes with any vehicle that is in the GTA 5 game. All right. There is going to be a vehicle meta and there are keys, key um, changes that you can actually make yourself to the vehicle meta for whatever you're liking to you. You know, that's the great thing about the PC version of um, GTA 5. I, I just love it. So anyway talking with vehicle meta and i'm going to get into other things probably down the line um when you're adding vehicles if you want the uh, i have a tutorial out i'll put that up uh, i'll link that into the video up above um where you can add any add-on vehicle that you have you can add it to the pop groups so that that vehicle will spawn you know in traffic you know with a particular ped you know i'm going to show you that in the vehicle meta so anyway let, let's just talk about you know a little bit more in depth once we open up the vehicle meta so vehicle meta will be located in various locations um throughout the game it depends on the vehicle that you're looking for i'm not going to go into each location but i'm just going to show you so the main update vehicle meta is going to be at update update rpf x64 levels gta 5 and uh, oh wait 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 let me go back it's going to be in yeah, it's going to be in levels, but I, I went past it. Common data levels, GTA 5 vehicle meta. There we go. All right, let me open up that uh, so you can see it. So it's going to be mods. Of course, put it in your mods folder. Update, update RPF, common data levels, GTA 5, and the vehicle meta. This particular location will be primarily for most of the vehicles in the game you'll be utilizing um as far as like if you wanted to directly add a vehicle to the game if you're not using an add-on folder so you just pretty much can copy uh, a vehicle change the name to whatever vehicle you're adding and drop it into the game um in a certain folder of course uh pretty much your your, your most recent patch day folder and that game should spawn OK, as far as certain changes that you make to the vehicle meta may not happen because it depends on the model, the model of the vehicle. But um, anyway, move right along, like I said. But if you're looking for particular vehicles, you just have to find out uh, the location of the vehicle. So like I have open four up again over here just to show you. So like MP stunt would be for like um, any other vehicles that were added. Go to levels, GTA five. And once again, you see. It's a smaller size file vehicle metas. These were just a couple of vehicles that were added. So it just depends on the vehicle you're looking for, but you'll, you'll be able to, you know, make changes to that vehicle once you find the location. So MP stun is another one that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, I believe uh, MP heist also, right? Let's go into MP heist common, and it's going to mostly be in common and, and in the levels part of the uh, directory, as you can see. So you have your mule three. So it just depends on the vehicle you're looking for that you can make changes. And the only reason I say that is because um, let's open up this this vehicle meta. Uh, let me open it up as a edit. So certain changes that you'll mess with a vehicle for, let's say for trucks. So if you were looking for, let's say the hauler, we're going to put the hauler in there, right? So we have the hauler. You can actually change the handling ID of the hauler. And that's only if you want to make the vehicle do something crazy. So you could give it a handling ID for, let's say, police, the police vehicle. You type in police, right? I'm not going to make that change, but 
If you find the list of the vehicles, you can change the handling ID to another vehicle. So let's say police, P-O-L-I-C-E, of course, you would type that in. And now the hauler would actually have the handling ID of the police vehicle, you know, so that that's a, a, a change that you could make. You could change um, the vehicle make make name. You could change it to vapid. You know, one, it just has to be something that actually pertains to what the game already already knows if it's not an add on vehicle. Um, another key function that you might, you know, may not be aware of is the flags. Flags have different, you know, different attributes. It depends. But the main flag that you're always going to see a lot of is flag has liveries. And that's if you have different um, textures for that vehicle. So you always have to add that to this line here, to the uh, flag within the uh, open and close of the uh, flag line. So you would have to type in, you know, flag underscore has underscore livery. Let me make sure I can't remember if it's livery or liveries. I think it's livery. Right. So make sure you uh, I, I'm, I'll see if I could down put some links down below um, pertaining to, you know, some some references to uh, guide you to certain things. Hold on. Let's see. I have me a nice little uh, saved. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's like a, I think it's a Wicca. That I downloaded. Uh, 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 let me do it this way. That's the easiest way. I think this is it, right? Yeah. So this will tell, like, I have one that it'll tell you all about flags. It's under the uh, wiki, right? Wait, no. This is um making vehicles spawn in particular locations. But uh, 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 uh where is it? Oh, this is about LSPDFR. Don't want that vehicle meta. I believe this is it. Yes. So, like I said, talking about handling IDs. Right. So as long as you know the name of the vehicle, that that vehicle may already have a handling ID. And if you just place it on that particular line, you'll give that vehicle the handling ID of that vehicle. So. Let's find flag has liver. I just want to make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Uh, flag livery. No, not that one. Watch me pass it. Which is going to be very annoying. So as you can see, there are so many flag types. And I probably passed it, didn't I? Uh, 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 come on, come on, come on. This is so annoying. Flag has livery. Okay, no, I was right. Flag has livery. That would have irked my nerves. So anyway, so you type flag has livery for any vehicle that has um multiple liveries to choose from. Right? So I'm gonna erase this for now. I'm gonna delete that. Another key point, especially for um if you add any type of uh tractor vehicles, you always want to add to the uh, trailer spot any trailers, especially any add-on trailers. If you want that vehicle to attach to that trailer, like even um, you also another vehicle you have that attaches trailers is the um, pickup trucks. So you want to make sure you add any add on trailers to this location. So the top one, if I'm not mistaken, um, any vehicle driven by the AI will choose from this pool of trailers to attach to the vehicle and you'll see that spawned within game. 
additional trailers, anything that you add in this pool are just trailers that can attach to the vehicle, but you won't see them spawn in the game. If that makes sense, if you understand, you know how I'm saying that. All right. So like if you add on like I have I have vehicles that have um that I added, you know, trailers and I have to go through each vehicle that's capable of of um, attaching a trailer. I have to make sure I add that trailer to the vehicle, you know, vehicle meta. All right. If that if, if that makes sense, you know, I hope I'm clear speaking that clearly. OK, so just make sure you do that. That's another um something else that you might want you know may not have been aware of also the swankness um i believe it goes from one to five swankness one through five so this location you could actually change the number just you know add it one two three four five swankness one two three or five make sure it's a um underscore there at this location on this line this is when you hear the people you know you know how fly they think your vehicle is so if you change the numerical number from one through five, this is when you'll get the uh, the cat calls where, where people are like, oh, that's a fly car. They take the camera out, take a picture of your car. That's the swankness. OK. All right. So you can you can actually, you know, edit that and change that. Let me make sure I'm not going past something else. Oh, also, I did a video about audio name hash. If you leave it uh, close ended like this there will you know especially for add-on vehicles so if you have a vehicle and you do, and you notice there's no type of sound to the vehicle it may be and that's usually for add-on vehicles it may be the audio name hash uh needs uh, a sound so you would do you would make this you know if you see it like this just make it um open closed so it would be as such right And we would do that. Do this. And you just have to add a vehicle. So let's say like, you know, if it was a police vehicle, I'm just going to keep using police <laughs> off the top of my head. OK. And you would do it like such. And now this vehicle would have the sounds of the police vehicle. It, it would the, the, the tractor, this hauler, if we went inside the hauler, it would have the engine. It would it would probably have the um, radio, you know, of uh, transmissions playing from the police police sound audio file. OK. If you understand what I'm you know what I'm doing, I did a video about this uh, earlier, you know, in my earlier content. So you could take a look at that um, for more explanation on that. But that's the audio name hash. All right. And it's usually any sound of the sound of the vehicle within the game. You know, so if you had like a boat um, that wasn't making a sound, you just add the dinghy sound and, and it would have the dinghy boat sound. You know, if you had an add on boat, you know, so that's something else you can mess around with. All right. Let me put this back as it was. OK. Um, something else. I'm just trying to show you guys a uh, quick tidbit things. Uh, this is the LOD uh, distances. So what this what this file, you know, if you had a vehicle where if you drove or were a distance away from that vehicle and all of a sudden the textures just um, disappear, like meaning like you see the driver just driving on like thin air. That's because the LOD distance may need to be edited okay i i do have like a um a standard that i use like if that ever if that happens and i just plug those numerical values in and it you know it suffices and make uh, makes the uh vehicle appear from a distance fine so like as i get further and further away from the vehicle the the person is still within a vehicle it, it the person is not just um you know driving away on thin air you know, so that, that that happens on a certain vehicles periodically. So but that's this location. If you have that problem, I know there was a um, there was a boat, one of the boats that somebody had created. And that that was a problem. Um, and somebody made a fixed 
a fix to the uh, LOD distance, which which helped out a lot. All right, so that's this area. If you have that problem, um, I'll leave a link down below. Possibly, you know, uh, you know, with, with a a quick fix, you know, a numerical value that you could use to um, correct that if you do have that problem with your vehicle. Uh, we talked about the uh, trailers, uh, the drivers section. So here you can actually mandate the driver of the vehicle. I did a um, Halloween um, episode and so I could have certain characters when I did pullovers. I could have certain characters within those vehicles that I pulled over. This is where you would make that edit at. At the drivers. OK, because if you if you leave this open closed meaning you, you did away with the drivers and, and just did the open close like this, but just for the driver's area. So if it was, if it looked like this, but it just said drivers, then the, the game would just pretty much pull any driver into that vehicle. It, it wouldn't be always a trucker, the trucker. Okay. So if you just got rid of this and just made it open, closed drivers, then the game would just put any ped that it can choose from into that vehicle at any given time. But if you want to have specific drivers, all you do is just add them within here. So you would just copy, copy, and just add. You know, just continuously add. I'm sorry. You, all you have to do is just copy here, actually. And continuously add a new a new character, you know. Like at one point, I had Kanye, I had um, Thanos. No, did I have Thanos in the vehicle? I know I just had Thanos in the game, but I had Kanye driving the vehicle, and I did a pullover. I had um, I think Catwoman. I think I had Catwoman or Batgirl, one of the two, right? And I made them the uh, specific driver for the vehicle. Okay, so that's a, another little tidbit. Um, let me see. What's the other? There's another vehicle. Um, forget what the uh, pickup trucks are. Uh, no, I know they're vapid. What is it? Um, all right, let me go to the uh, police vehicles until I can remember the... Um, so let's I just wanted to show the rewards because you can always change your um, rewards for like when you get in certain vehicles. In case you weren't um, aware. So that's this this part right here, the rewards. So anytime you get into the police transport vehicle, you'll be rewarded with an SMG ammo. And I'm not sure what this is, stat weapon, not sure what that is. I'll have to look that up, but you can change this. So it, let's say if you wanted it to be, you know, a, a rocket launcher, you just find whatever the hash name is for rocket launcher, put it in here. And anytime you get into the police transport vehicle, you will have the rocket launcher. You know, it's the same way if you go to the dinghy. Let me see if the uh, dinghy's here. Well, any one of the uh, police boats, I believe the reward would be the. Where is it? Uh. No, is it? No, where's the, uh, okay, there's no reward for this dinghy. Let me see about dinghy two. Nope. One of these boats, the reward usually for most of the uh, watercrafts is, um, let me see, here is it. Uh, carbine rifle. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that. Yeah. I guess that's the only one. I don't know why I thought it was something else. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it was just that one that gives you the uh, carbine rifle. I swore it was something else, but anyway, carbine rifle, as we just saw. But anyway, as you can see, the drivers. So yeah, just copy the whole thing, the whole item. Item then. 
copy and then enter add it here oops I didn't copy it but just to make it clear so you copy the whole thing from open to close including the uh, MPC name here copy and let's just say I would say SM cop one so if you went into the game periodically um, on this what what is this the jet ski or a sea shark yeah so on the sea shark you would either see the Baywatch uh, female male or male cop driving the sea shark that particular sea shark all right so that's another little change you can do okay and I wanted to show the uh, license plates uh, where is it plate type so because the sea shark there's not going to be any plate but vehicles that are able to um, have license plates in this area you can actually change between the um, whether having a front plate rear plate or both front and rear okay if that makes sense let's go up to the uh, 9F I believe the 9F shows this okay vehicle plate as you can see so it would be vehicle plate type back plates so this vehicle will only spawn with back plates no front plate okay um, let me see uh, back plate also okay and then here so this vehicle will have front and back plates so you just have to know the various um, hashtags to to add you know to the line or to change the line um, and there was something else that I wanted to uh, show and I believe the uh, pickup truck that I'm looking for is somewhere up here so this is a boat trailer so obviously you can't add the boat trailer to another trail you know to be the trailer to another vehicle and uh, 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 where is it what is the name of that vehicle not the coach as soon as I as soon as I see it I'll, I'll know it as soon as I see it uh da, 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 nope nope wait i think i just said yep i think this is it the benson right was it no no it's the x xl something xl hold on let me look up xl and let's scroll down let's see i think it's the bison xl right was it oh it's the bobcat that's it bobcat perfect so the bobcat is like a, a pickup truck right no no is it the bobcat no i thought it was the i thought it was the bobcat let me keep going down i thought it was the bobcat i might be wrong or, or the rancher is the rancher one okay it's the rancher rancher xl i know it's something with xl but anyway we're going to use the rancher so rancher is another vehicle that can utilize the um trailers so like you see here that's why if you if you're in the game you'll see the rancher with the boat trailer or a trailer a small trailer with the ai driving it so but when you get into the vehicle this is for those who always want to attach the boat trailer to their vehicle so when you get into the vehicle and if you tried to connect this um rancher to the boat trailer it probably would not connect because additional trailers the boat trailer is not here so if you go ahead copy and then I did a cut so if you go down if you had that problem if you go down here and then add boat trailer to additional trailers when you get in the vehicle 
and then save, of course, when you get into the vehicle and you back up to the boat trailer, it would attach to your rancher without a problem. Then you wouldn't always have to look for somebody to, you know, to, to, to jack them for their uh, vehicle with the uh, boat trailer attached. You, you can automatically just spawn uh, a boat trailer and then attach it yourself. All right. So anyway, I believe that's all I have for now. You know, somebody cancel out this. I don't want to save anything. So I just wanted to give everybody a little quick tidbit on vehicle meta changes. And then um, I'll do another tutorial. I'll, pl I'll probably attach the um, also. Um, I'll attach a couple of uh, links up above. So like the um, take a look at the uh, pop groups uh, video that I did back, you know, sometime back. I'm probably going to try to update it a little bit um along this tidbit series of you know tutorials uh, but anyway guys get down in the uh, comments let me know what you think if you want to see this type of stuff you know for assistance with your uh modding gaming <laughs> you know let me know if you like it thumbs up will definitely let me know if you like this or not if not i won't bring you no more content like this but anyway game boy eg sign out on another one. Oh, big shout out to the new youtube subscribers i appreciate you guys for you know signing up to the uh, channel Tell a friend to tell another friend. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you are aware of any new vehicle that I drop. Get at me on Discord. We have a large Discord uh, community that continues to grow daily. So I appreciate my Discord um, supporters, uh, my Patreon supporters as well. Game Boy AG signed out on another one. You guys take care. Be safe.